Welcome. I'm Ty Hensley, the upper school principal here at Bayshore Christian School, uh, which is also uh, known as the Schools of Logic and Rhetoric. Uh, so the School of Logic, grades 7 and 8, uh, the School of Rhetoric, grades 9 through 12. The School of Logic in grades 7 and 8, the students are really building and expanding upon um, the foundation that had been laid in the School of Grammar. Uh, so in the School of Grammar, uh, the students uh, take a lot of time memorizing, um, they take a lot of time uh, chanting, um, they are catechized, they uh, use um, the, uh, it's kind of a similar pattern day to day, and they really build on that. Uh, well, in the School of uh, Logic, uh, the students continue in, along that same pattern, even all the way through 12th grade. But then we add uh, some components to that in the School of Logic. And one of those components uh, is um, Har the Hartness Method, uh, where we sit around a table and we discuss great ideas. And we see this really culminate in our students in the School of Rhetoric um, later on in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. However, in 7th and 8th grade, the students still discuss great ideas. They participate in debates. Uh, they really apply what they've learned. Uh, they're still learning. They're still memorizing. And then they're taking what they're learning and memorizing, and they're applying that. Uh, they're discussing these great ideas. They're having these conversations with one another uh, that are teacher-led. And our teachers really look for um, just not just a breadth of understanding, a surface level, a mile wide inch deep uh, type mentality, uh, but depth of understanding as well. Uh, we really want deep roots in the lives of our students, so we want them to be deep thinkers, uh, not shallow surface level thinkers that share their opinions but uh, often, but don't have the facts, the, the truth to support that. So uh, that, that happens in grades 7 and 8, and then by the time the students get through uh, logic school to the School of Rhetoric in grades 9 through 12, uh, they, they're accustomed to debating great ideas, and they continue that. Uh, we see grades 9 through 12 as the synthesis or the integration. Uh, so our students learn early on and often throughout um, uh, school here at Bayshore Christian School because of classical Christian education that's, that education is full orbed, uh, that it is integrated together, that the subjects are interconnected and they see that interconnectedness and it just really helps them to understand. So in the School of Logic when they're learning the the who's, how's, why's, and what for's, by the time they get to the School of Rhetoric, they're applying that. They, they understand um, background, the importance of background information, the importance of who caused that particular battle or skirmish, and, and why they did that. And what the, not just what the outcome was, who was involved in the dates, uh, which is something they might memorize in grammar school, but by the time they're in the School of Rhetoric, uh, they're, they're researching the minds of those leaders. They're wanting to dig deeper and to research that. And uh, that all culminates in grade 12 in a senior thesis project where they research and uh, read through lots of great works and um, information in order to prepare um, a senior thesis project. And this thesis, uh, which is uh, something that they learn about early on, uh, is uh, coined after a Greek term that we look at called stasis, uh, which is stance. So they take a stand uh, to uh, support uh, their particular thesis that they've chosen, their statement uh, that they've chosen to support. And they use that research, they use the skills that they've learned in the School of Logic and in the School of Rhetoric. Um, and that really culminates in that th senior thesis project, which is really the capstone experience. And they present that information, um, and they discuss that uh, with their classmates, and uh, they, they really um, have to work hard for that. And our students learn the value of hard work. They take initiative. Um, we want them to be fully devoted followers of Christ who are willing to take a stand and, um, and really strive to expand the kingdom of God. And in order to do that, they need to be equipped well uh, with the tools of learning. Uh, so we want them to have their tool belts just full, just equipped to the brim uh, with n not just knowledge and information um, processing, but to be able to take that and to, to analyze, to solve problems, to be equipped well. Um, to be able to figure things out on their own that maybe they don't know, to be able to uh, be continual learners, to go back, to do their own research, uh, to not just surface level Google something, but uh, to, to, to read great books, to look in great 
resources so that they can come up with uh, great thoughts, great ideas, not just opinions, to be, to be able to support them well. So uh, by the time our students graduate, they are so well prepared for life, and we see that. We see that benefit in our alumni as they continue to go on and to impact the world for Jesus Christ.